Hi, um, this is just an introduction about how I would lead into drawing classes with my students. I do a little bit of an introduction on page 12 of our book and you can have a look at that. But what I love to get my students to do is a continual line drawing. It's something that everybody does, whether you're Matisse or whoever, you do a continual line drawing. So the point of it is that what you do is you actually, I've got one there, but it doesn't I'll take that off. Say I'm going to draw this shelf here. So what I do is I'm going to put my shelf here, here, here like this. And I put my pen on my paper. I don't look at the paper at all again. And I just draw my response to what I'm seeing. So I'm sorry I've got my back to you, but I'm coming in, here's, I'm coming up here around the bottles, around that bottle, around this bottle. Here, up here, and up here, and then I'll come down to my big jug of brushes. And I'm standing right in front of it, so you can't really see what I'm drawing. These are my scissors, these brushes. Brushes, 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 and there's a ruler, and so on. And then I might come over the top, down, down, down. I'm going to, should be slowing down. I'm going too fast. I'm coming across to here, down, around here, here, across the top of the bottom of the shelf, and around into another pot. Now you can see it's a very basic drawing. But what I'm doing is I'm getting the feel of what's in front of one thing and another. And I would go right across the drawing and it's not expected to look good. I'm not expecting to have an end result. If it looks like anything, then that's a bonus, but it doesn't have to. This is what I was drawing here. This is what I'm trying to capture the essence of here, the bottles, the jugs, the whatever, whatever. Then I can come back and I can do another drawing, all right? And I build up, but this is a great warm-up exercise. If you're feeling blocked, feeling stuck, then just start like this. This is another one I started ages ago. It was just apricots in a bowl. And can you see that? Here we go. Can you see that? And so it's not, it's hard to know they're apricots in a bowl, but you know what they look like. You get the feel of where they are, and it's just one continual line. That's one exercise. And the other warm-up exercise is to just take a whole lot of objects out of your kitchen drawer, nothing you've selected, just grab, grab a handful, drop them on the table, and then start to draw and do one-minute drawing. So here's my one-minute drawing. Can you zoom in on that or do I need to move closer? <laughs> is that it here? <laughs> That's it there. Okay, so this is what we're doing. This is on page... 230, we've done a quantum leap. But this, this is a great drawing to do as well because we're not worrying about what it's going to look like. We're just drawing, we've got a time limit and we're just going into the drawing. But you always start with what's closest. So for me, it was this egg beater here was the closest, I draw that. Then I draw everything in behind. So there's no overlapping lines and there's no need to rub out. So I come in, I've done the egg beater, then I do the spoon, then I do the knife behind, then I do the strainer, the tea bag, and so on. And I can build back, 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 and back. Always start from the front of what you're looking at and move to the back.